Oh, it feels like football, and that's okay as long as you have some long johns and hot chocolate. The cold did not slow down the offenses. You will see the night, Frank. Yeah, indeed, it did not. Welcome to the rally week six, everyone. Our feature game had a favorite against a traditional power, and that's where Jennifer Merrily makes her rally debut. Creighton Durham Hall at Stillwater. Hi, Jen. Hi, guys. I had to bundle up a little bit for this one. You know, Stillwater coming in undefeated, hoping to keep that winning streak alive uh, on homecoming. Creighton Durham Hall starting out a little slower this year with a 3-2 record coming into this game. These two teams played each other on national television last year with the Ponies beating the Raiders. The Raiders tell me that gave them some extra motivation to play harder tonight. Right out of the gate, the weather proved to be a challenge. Raiders QB Maxwell Jackson dropped the snap, but quickly picked it up and ran in for Creighton Durham's first touchdown of the game. Coming in strong, number 32, Dimitri Walker. You'll see him a few times making plays throughout the game. The 5'3 running back has two great runs, making his way through some traffic. And then came this one around the corner and in for a TD. That's number 32. Their third touchdown comes in the second quarter with a good run by Kennedy Dobeck after capitalizing on a Stillwater fumble on kickoff. The end the half at 19-0 and happy Raiders fans. The Raiders came back strong with another touchdown run by Walker, moving up the score to 25-0. The Stillwater Ponies got on the board in the third with a 54-yard bomb to Brooks Carroll, but it wasn't enough to overcome the momentum already created by the Raiders. The final 32-14 Creighton Durham Hall over Stillwater and Walker with two TDs for the night. I've always been told that I was so small that I couldn't do it. I use that as a fuel to go better, go harder, and show people that I can do what other people think I can. We thought we matched up real well with them and thought we could run the ball. So uh, we got the happy ending, they did. Yeah, and Coach Scanlon told me that they played some really hard teams at the beginning of the season. Now the team is kind of coming together as they head closer towards the playoffs, and I would guess so after a big win here tonight. Back to you guys. Thanks, Jennifer. Come get some hot cider here back at the office. Sounds good. Thanks. <laughs>